welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. How to upload a video on YouTube. It's pretty straightforward. All you need is a Gmail account and at NU, we all have one. You just use the same credentials to log in to YouTube. After you do that, you have a screen that looks pretty similar to mine, if not the same. Um, there are several buttons on the upper right corner. One says create, the other says YouTube apps, notifications, and of course, the place you just used to sign in, which is the same place you are gonna use to sign out, switch accounts, or check your channel. Let's start with creating, since we're gonna upload a new video. We press create, upload video, and we're taken to a different graphical user interface. I've already created a video, so now I'm gonna just drag and drop my video into this screen. Once that happens, I have several options to uh, provide a title to my video, a description, and a thumbnail. Once the video is uploaded, uh, YouTube provides a series of thumbnails that will be extracted from um, your video. However, I prefer to create my own uh, and I'm gonna dra drag and drop my own thumbnail into the upload thumbnail uh, screen. I created this uh, while I was creating the video and I processed it in a JPEG, which had to be below two megabytes because that's um, the maximum that YouTube will accept for thumbnails. Um, once you've done this, you're set. Everything's pretty straightforward, right? Uh, you have here your uh, video link that you can uh, share with uh, students, friends, and colleagues. And you have other options uh, when it comes to uh, the type of content that you're producing and the target audience. Well, I pressed yes, it's made for kids, but it's not the relevant. The following screen uh, talks about adding cards, but we're not gonna address it in uh, this tutorial. So moving on, um, you press next again. And in here, you will actually decide if you have this video on private mode uh, only you and people you choose can watch your video. Unlisted, anyone with a link can watch your video, which is the one that I use the most here at NU. And public, everyone can watch the video and is searchable online. So I'll press unlisted and get the code and copy paste it across a myriad of multimedia avenues. Uh, you also have an option that uh, allows you to schedule the video release and this is kind of uh, useful especially if you just want your students to see the video from uh, a certain point onwards well and that's it you now save the video and after you do that uh, you finalized your upload uh, they show you again the links for you to use on social media and they provide uh, the YouTube link so you can spread it around I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next episode.